beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a palette bingo collaboration with some other, I would say other YouTubers but really they've become like close friends of mine. Um, but we're going to be collaborating using the brand new Carnival 3 palette with Be Perfect and Stacey Marie. Basically I'm one of Alex's um, patrons and in our little patron group, like group chat on WhatsApp, we all decided to do a collab so there's absolutely loads of us that have done this video but we all got to pick each other's um, random numbers. So we all used a random number generator and we all got assigned, like Alex assigned us all to each person and we picked each other's numbers. So for my numbers, <laughs> this is what it looks like. I got forest, bamboo, cocoa, rum and then pink lily. So I got quite a random selection which is hence why it looks the way that it does. Um, yeah, I am so excited to get into this. I'm still not sure how I feel about this look and whether I like it or not. I do feel like it has totally pushed me out of my comfort zone, but I'm just so glad that first of all, I've actually got a chance to use it because I've not used it since I've bought it. And I'm just really happy to be part of this little group that, that Alex has got because I like we all talk every single day, like all day, every day. Um, it gets me so excited to start my own Patreon as well, which I will be doing a full video explaining all on what it is and what I'm gonna be doing and everything. But I just found this is such a nice um, little community and everyone's just so lovely and they've welcomed me so well, considering I'm quite a new member to it as well. So I just wanna say thank you so much for everybody who's just so nice and kind um, and really reassuring as well when it comes to things. But anyways, less of the, soppiness let's just get straight into this um palette bingo with the stacy and marie Par carnival three palette if i can spit my words out please go check out the other girls down below as well they'll have done videos if i haven't done a video they'll have done um pictures and stuff so i'll leave a link to all of their stuff down below please go subscribe to them please go follow them on instagram because they're absolutely amazing um yeah enjoying all of our youtube families um, and instagram families let's just get straight into the tutorial. So I'm going to be starting with the P. Louise base in the shade room at number two. This is like their first ever packaging that they did. Which is why it's super super tiny compared to the new ones. And I'm literally just going to use a fluffy concealer brush just to tap this all over the eye just to prime and get everything ready. So I was really... <sighs> I don't know, I was really nervous about this because there's quite a few colours that would go really nice together and then all of a sudden this little pop of pink came in and I was like, how am I going to make this work? So I think I'm going to go in with the shade Coco and I'm going to use one of these brushes to apply it because I always see Alex apply it with this and I think that just makes sense. <laughs> Why don't I do that? So I'm going to try that as well and I'm going to try and put this just kind of slightly above my crease because we are going to do a cut crease, I think. I think that's what we're going to go for anyway. And I'm just going to tap, tap that in. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I really hope this turns out well. Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just going to very slightly blend that out just because it's making me nervous, I'm not going to lie. This is the Morphe M562 brush. Absolutely amazing for doing like tiny, tiny little blending. My sister recommended it to me who is a makeup artist. Really, 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 really good. I'm literally just going to lightly blend it out with nothing on the brush at all. Um, and then I'm going to try to do a green. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> I really don't. Then I'm going to take a kind of basically a smaller version of that other brush that we used to pack on the um, orangey brownie colour. And this is just a Ted Baker one. I'm going to go in with the shade Forest and pack that basically where we've just blended it, it in really. That makes any sense at all. I'll just show you. <laughs> so I'm gonna pack this on here instead. See, that scares me, that. That really scares me. <laughs> and then again, going in with that fluffy brush that has no product in. Obviously, it's got a little tiny bit of that brown on from before. And I'm just going to blend out the edges, but we are going to blend this out again with the bamboo yellowy kind of colour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go back in with like the cocoa colour and the forest colour and just keep building up that intensity until I get it to basically where I want it to be. And it blended out together and then I think we'll then go in with the kind of yellowy colour to blend it out completely. Then I'm going to be taking a, another fluffy brush. If I could, I would have took <laughs> another Morphe one, but I think they must all need washing because I actually can't. 
find them. I don't know where it's gone. But I'm going to be taking this is the Kit Stars S30 Small Tapered Blender Brush instead. And I'm going to go in with the Bamboo Shade, which is a bit of like a like a mucky yellowy green. If that makes any sense at all. <laughs> and I'm going to use this to blend out the edges of this um, forest green that we've got going on. I really do not know how I feel about this look. I feel like it looks an absolute mess. I really hope it pulls together when we do the cut crease and everything because I'm not feeling it right now. Okay, so this is what we're currently working with. <laughs> I still don't know how I feel about it. But we're going to cut the crease and put some sparkle on here because hopefully that'll help to liven up a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the P. Louise and Mimi Mitchell Acid Rain in blank canvas. I'm just going to be using a cheap brush to basically do this cut crease but I'm going to do it off camera because it's going to take a lot of concentration. I'll be back with you in a second. <laughs> okay, so I've managed to do some kind of cut crease. Um, we're going to go in with the shade Rum and I'm going to try to apply it with a brush to begin with to see how we get on but normally I do find shimmers go on a lot better. Yeah, a lot better with your finger. So I'm just going to use my finger instead. And look at the difference. It's definitely quite crumbly, I don't know if you can see it on my cheeks. Okay, I'm quite impressed by that, I'm not going to lie. It is very, very crumbly, I don't know if you can see it all over my cheek. Like, I have a lot of, like, the pigment and the glitters, like, dropped all over my cheeks. I'm just using a little kind of cotton pad with some micellar water just to take that off. Oh my god, it's even on my moustache. <laughs> see, I think if you are going to use this, I definitely do your eyeshadow first and then do your base because otherwise you're going to have loads and loads and loads of fallout but to be honest with you if I was going to be doing an eye look this intense I would always do my eyeshadow first anyway um just because obviously you know it's going to fall out and if it makes a mess or anything happens you're not having to like fix up the rest of your base and stuff as well I'm going to go back in with that shade Coco and just build up this outer corner a little bit just to Deepen it up and also to blend it in nicely with that, what's it called, rum, rum shade. See, don't get me wrong, I'm not obsessed with this look. I don't hate it though. I'm quite impressed with how it's turned out, I'm not going to lie. It's just, now where the hell do I put a pop of pink? <laughs> so I don't know what to do, I don't know whether to do it in my inner corner, whether to do it as a pink underneath. I don't really know what to do. I think I'm going to do the other eye and then we'll come back and work out when earth we're going to be putting this pink shade. I think it's called Pink Lily. It's very intense as well. It's not even like a subtle pink. It's like a bam in your face kind of pink. Right, I shall be back in a second. Okay, so that's the rest of my makeup done. It's time to do the under eyes and the little pop of pink. I'm going to go for it in the inner corner to see what that looks like. So I'm going to take just a little brush to begin with this is the morphe m149 and i'm going to go in with the shade pink lily and i'm going to pop this oh is she bright <laughs> i'm going to pop this in the inner corner like so i'm going to take this a slightly bigger fluffier brush which is the morphe m507 another really really good one for kind of small detail work as well and i'm just going to blend that out there's a little bit of fallout from that but not too much i don't know how i feel about it i feel like i've never done a pop of color on the inner corner before i don't think so it's something different i do honestly think that doing this kind of palette bingo thing has really helped to make me put colors together that i would never ever ever put together i wouldn't even think about putting together so for the lower lash line to begin with, I'm going to go in with another one of the Morphe M419 brushes. I'm going in with, I think I'm just going to do the green colours. I'm not going to go in with any of the brown underneath. And I'm going to go in with the shade Forest. And concentrate this more so on the outer part of the eye. And then just lightly bringing it into the middle so it's a bit thicker. And then comes in thinner, if that makes any sense at all. And then I'm going to be taking a fresh Morphe M562 brush and going in with the shade Bamboo, which was that kind of like icky browny yellowy colour, which actually is quite nice, but it is like an icky colour. Um, to blend out the forest colour, I'm going to do the exact same underneath. 
I'm actually just because we've got that pop of colour in the inner corner. I am going to bring that forest colour all the way in. Whereas I wouldn't normally, because normally I like to try and keep my eyes looking as big as possible. Because I do feel like I've got really, really small eyes, but it just looks a bit weird having that gap. So I'm going to fill that in and just fill in the um, bamboo shade all the way across as well. And then just going to join it to this out a bit like so and i'm going to do the other eye and then do my mascara and i'll come back and round it all up <laughs> so this is what the finished look is i don't know i still don't know how i feel about it i feel like it is totally out of my comfort zone i feel like i've never done an eyeshadow look this intense before which is so weird because it actually like most people would do this for Instagram and for YouTube and stuff, but I've just never been this daring. So I feel like it's really pushed me out of my comfort zone and made me try something else. I think by itself, about that pop of pink, it would have been beautiful. It would have been so nice. And I just think, yeah, I think it could have gone a lot worse. I honestly do think it could have gone a lot worse. Considering this is my first time using this palette, by the way, I am in love it is amazing and um, that rum shade the glitter one really crumbles up in the palette but you can kind of like just squish it back down again um, but it does go really really crumbly so bear that in mind and um, be a little bit careful and a bit more delicate with that one but yeah this is my finished look i really hope you've enjoyed it please don't forget to go check out the other girls videos pictures instagrams cousin everybody has done like a video i think um some people have done like pictures if i remember rightly but i'll leave everybody's stuff linked down below please go follow them please go subscribe if it's a youtube channel or follow them on instagram because it really helps out all of us and yeah i'm really excited to see what everybody else's look looks like as well so yeah, please let me know what you think because I don't know how I feel about it still. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and enter my huge giveaway link down below. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers. So I'll hopefully see you for a brand new video tomorrow or in two days time. I can't remember which one I'm doing yet, but see you back in the gulf very soon. <laughs>